All right, so for number five, again, the, the whole idea is to solve the equation. Again, be prepared to write out a justification for each step. Just know that you don't always have to do that. All right, so what would be my first move in this bad boy? Multiply both sides by three. Multiply both sides by three. All right, and what's our justification for that? Right, but do we have a property that allows us to do that? Yeah. Multiplication, you could say. You could say multiplication property of equality, so multiplication pope, or you could say multiplicative inverse. Right. So depending on the instructions, if they say to write a property of equation, a property of equality to justify, then go with a foe. Otherwise, uh, any justification will do. So on the left hand side, the threes cancel. That's the whole point. And we're left with 22 minus W equals negative 21. All right, next move. Say it again. That's where you went wrong? Okay. Well, I'll carry it out to the end anyhow. Next step. Subtract 22 from each side. What's our justification there? Yeah. Addition, Poe. And remember, folks, I, I mean... Well, I'll say for myself personally, I'm not going to lose any sleep if you write subtraction po. But technically, we call that addition and subtraction. We call that addition po because subtraction is just a special form of addition. All right. So we're looking at negative w equals negative 43. Final step would be to divide by negative one, and our justification for that is what. Multiplication, P-O-E. Or, or you could say division. I'll say division this time. All right. Just to mix it up a little bit. You could say multiplication, P-O-E. You could say division, P-O-E. Or you could say multiplicative inverse either way, depending on the instructions. All right, so then we had a question about number six. Twice the sum of five and a number is two less than half the number, right? And solve an equation to find the number. All right, very important. You got to define your variables. In this case, it's only a single variable, but down the line, we'll have multiple variables, and we want to get in the habit of defining them. On, that's on the quiz, what's that? Is that less that's less statements. You don't have to actually write let, just somewhere in your solution, let me know what x represents. All right, so we're saying x is the number, right? You can go with that, you, whatever you want. All right, so twice the sum of five and a number is, is means equals. Two less than half the number. So we have two components going on here. And you know how it is with word problems. The biggest challenge in most cases is coming up with the equation that you have to solve. Because once you have the equation, you're usually in pretty good shape. All right, so twice the sum of five and a number. So what do we say there? What does twice the sum of five and a number look like algebraically? 2 parentheses 5 plus x. Boom, shakalaka. <coughs> Equals. All right, because again, look, it's twice this sum. So the sum has to happen before you can do the twice part. Alpha y equals. All right. The right-hand side, two less than half the number, what does that look like? Just shout it out if you know it. 
Although somebody is going to start shouting, and that's going to be a problem. What do we say? One half n minus two. One half n. One. You can go with n. You can go with x. It doesn't matter as long as you define your variables. All right. Two less than half the number. All right. So you're subtracting two from half of the number in order to get the appropriate expression. All right. Now I want to solve. What do we do? Distribute. What do we get? 10. 10 plus 10 plus 2x equals half x minus 2. Next up, what do we do? Oh, what's my next line? You can add two. Folks, just keep something in mind. When somebody asks to go over a problem from the homework, it's usually because they want to have a pretty good understanding of how to do said problem from the homework. And so they might end up getting distracted by other people having side conversations. Next step. Subtract the 2x. So we're looking at 12 equals, what's a half minus 2? Negative, negative 1 and a half, but let's get that as an improper fraction. So single fraction, not mixed number. Negative 3 over 2. All right. Math frac on your calculator is pretty helpful when it comes to stuff like that. If you're not as fluent as you'd like to be with uh, mixed numbers and improper fractions. What is this thing called math frac? Math frac. Math and random. What is math frac? We got a calculator on the test, I think. All right. So I want to get x alone. What do I do? Well, the connector here is multiplication. How do we undo a multiplication? With division. With division. Multiply the reciprocal, same as dividing, so that's good. Multiply both sides by negative two thirds. And what is negative two thirds times 12? Negative eight. Negative eight. Negative eight. 